Okay, so today we're going to go over dent repair exercise. How to remove a dent on a tube. Um, this is very beneficial in repairing tubing so you don't have to replace a whole new piece of tubing. So in the exercise you'll be putting it up in the press just like this and then we'll be creating a dent in the tube and then we'll take it over and we'll remove the dent and go over that. But let's go ahead and go ahead and put the dent in the tube. So we have our hydraulic cylinder valve tightened. Everything's set. We have our stand. We can go ahead and just start pressing it down until we create a dent. Now you can see we have a pretty good sized dent in the tube and they can actually be worse than that but for this exercise this is plenty. And then now we'll go ahead and take it over to the vise and get set up to remove the dent. Okay now let's go over on how to remove the dent from the tube. Uh, one thing you want of course safety glasses, hearing protection because when you're straightening the tube and hammering on it it's going to get loud so you definitely want to have hearing protection so this is a port of power it's just a little hydraulic unit you can buy these at harbor freight just a little hand one for like a hundred dollars and they come with different size cylinders and everything so this one is my personal one but then i make little jigs to go inside the tube and i make it fit my cylinder and i have springs on there to help retract it when I release the pressure. If you don't have those springs on there when you put it in and you jack it up, it can get stuck inside the tube and then you have to cut the tube apart to get your tool out. So it's really important to have springs on your jig that you're using. Another thing too I want to explain, this area is a lot further around in diameter than this area. It's very important when you're pressing that this area is smaller than your bottom area. Otherwise, your bottom area is gonna push before your top will. So once you have that, you can set it in. And as you go in, you can feel that dent and it stops. Once you get to that place where it stops, you go ahead and use the hydraulics to push it out. And I push out most of it that I can with the hydraulics and then I use a hammer to feather the edges. So now that we are there, you're going to see the dent start to come out. Okay, now that I got that, I'm going to go a little further now. And that takes the dent out really good, but once you do that, you can feel there's just a little bit of wrinkling there. So now if we take a hammer and, and tap that around, it will be nice and smooth and it'll retain its shape better because you are moving the metal back into shape. Let me grab a hammer and we'll do that. Okay, now that we have it in there and our dents pushed out, when we hammer on it, you want to leave the hydraulic pressure on there, otherwise you're just going to dent the tube and push the material back. Our piece is rolled to this diameter, so when we hit it, it's like bodywork. As we hit it, it's going to form to what we have rolled on the inside. So let me put my earplugs in and then let's hammer it. And it doesn't take a lot of force, just nice and easy. And you can kind of hear it tap and then get hard. That's when it's going back down to it. I can kind of feel the high spots and then I can... Okay, and after that's done, you release the pressure and the dent is out of the tube, back nice, nice and round again.